It's been six years since Fortnite Season 4 came out, and it's a season that changed Fortnite in a huge way. This season turned Fortnite from a silly little game to making billions every single year. This, in my opinion, was one of the peaks of Fortnite and one of my favorite seasons ever. We will go over pretty much everything in this season and why it's a peak season. So yeah, let's get started. Now the new map this season, it hasn't really changed that much apart from one big change, Dusty Divot. A massive meteor had landed in Dusty Depot and created this massive pit. This is huge at the time, we hadn't seen anything like that at the time at all. Having some sort of space space in the middle of a space crater was sick. Prior to this, we had only had locations that pretty much all had similarities, so having this divot was a nice change. In Dusty Divot, there were also these space rocks that you could eat and you would get anti-gravity, so you could jump really high. Combine this with an impulse grenade and you would fly quite far. This is basically the shockwave grenade before it came out. And I'm actually shocked to know that Risky Reels was added this season, and I just kinda thought that it was always in the game from the very beginning. Risky is a nice little location, some sort of car cinema place I guess. And I think some of you might remember the Search 7 Chests Risky Challenge. And yeah, that was pretty damn horrible. Since this season had a superhero theme, the superhero mansions added, and of course the villain lair in the mountain was there. Those were cool areas and kind of got you immersed into the story of the season. There were also craters all over the map from the meteors. This was overall a pretty good map change, and especially Dusty Divot. That was great. It definitely wasn't as big as some changes we would get after the season, but it definitely had a strong change in Fortnite. The battle pass we got also followed the superhero theme, with the skins being Carbide, Battlehawk, Technique, Zoe, Valor, Squad Leader, Omega, and the Visitor. I think this is a great battle pass. My favorite's gonna be Omega Carbide and Technique. I don't know, they're just dope. Remember when secret skins actually were secret and were tied to the Fortnite story, and not just some stupid fucking collab? I do. And that's something I miss about old Fortnite. The story was actually good and there, unlike now where they just forgot to add stories and now NPCs is all we get for a story. The secret skin this season, the visitor, actually had an origin story. In Dusty, there was this part of the meteor that the base was surrounding. As the season would progress, it would crack, and eventually the visitor escaped out of it. This is something that really added to the game, and while the story for the game was like a 10 out of 10 movie story, it was still good for a cartoon shooter battle royale. But now I guess all Fortnite wants is so whatever. The items we got this season were pretty cool too honestly. Jetpack was added this season and I mean it's what the name says. If you don't know what a jetpack is, just look at this footage here. It was definitely cool at the time, but now, eh, it's just a bit too limited, and it wouldn't last for very long at all. Still pretty cool though. The bouncer was here too, and this is a really fun item. If you place it down, you would get anti-gravity and get launched forward a bit. YouTubers would use this for very silly things, but one genuinely great thing was build this thing right here. Using the anti-gravity from the bouncer and then going on a launch pad would send you flying. It really was great for going extra long and really satisfying to do. Stink bombs were added too, and once again, it's pretty self-explanatory. It stinks people, and you start taking 5 damage per second. It's cool, but it's pretty annoying at times. Dual guns were included, and they would do tons of damage and were pretty fun to use. At the time, it really was one of my favorite guns ever. It, it just was that cool. Having two guns that you can hold at the same time, that's cool. The iconic drum gun was also added this season, and yeah, it's great. It had a mag size of 50, which is kind of insane, and also did good damage at a good fire rate. This was a great gun, so great, that when Fortnite had an event to bring back a gun, they all voted for the drum gun. Also, the shopping cart was added, and while it may not seem that great, this was the first vehicle ever, and is what made Epic Games add more and more vehicles in the next seasons. And because of that, I think it was a pretty big addition. And so while not that many things were added, there were still good additions, and improved an already great loot pool. Season 4 would also add something huge. Thanos. The Infinity Gauntlet LTM was added in this season, and man, it was absolutely huge, especially since it was the first collab with Marvel. While maybe this LTM wasn't that fun if he weren't Thanos, if he were him though, it was great. Demolishing people while being some space titan in Fortnite was something I don't think anyone would have believed two months before the event. Not only was it a huge LTM, it was also huge for Fortnite, as it probably brought a ton of attention to the game from other franchises and companies, showing that Fortnite was great for collabs. And 
And this was just a great moment for Fortnite, and it really showed that Fortnite was on the top of the world. This season also introduced Playground Mode, which was basically Fortnite creative before it even came out. Now this is huge, you basically had an hour to do whatever on the Fortnite map, and you couldn't do that at any point before. This allowed you and your friends just to build and do whatever you want in the Fortnite map without anyone trying to kill you. You could also 1v1 very easily, so you can practice that, that was huge. So yeah, Playground was also revolutionary for the game at the time, and really something I think we should remember. Finally we got the live event. In season 4, the villain lair was building a rocket, and towards the end of the season, the rocket would launch. The hype for this event was unreal. Fortnite definitely didn't disappoint. As the rocket launched, it would fly straight up until it would eventually fly really quickly down on Tilted. And I remember everyone thought that Tilted would get destroyed and it would be gone, but instead it went through a rift. Keep in mind, we hadn't seen rift before this, so this is pretty huge. It would then fly in and out of rifts all over the map, and in the places it flew, over, those places would eventually change to something else over the next seasons. So Epic Games had probably planned everything pretty well. And once it had done that, it appeared from a rift in Loot Lake, flew straight up in the air. Yeah. This was great. This was the first live event ever, and something I don't think we had seen in any live Battle Royale game before at that time. You may say, oh, it's not even close to any of the other live events these days. But you gotta remember, no one else had done anything like this in a game before. So it was amazing because of that. And honestly, I think it still holds up even today. This massive rift that came for the live event would expand, and in the final days of the season, many rifts would appear that would make things disappear. This would hype everyone up to season 5 and end season season 4 on a really good note. This really was the greatest way to end one of the best Fortnite seasons ever, and what else can I say? The season had a really good battle pass, great LTMs, great story, and an amazing first live event. This really is when Fortnite became an unstoppable force in gaming, and season 4 really was a big reason for that. Everyone was enjoying the game, almost no complaints from anyone, it was all good vibes. Because of all this, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite season of all time. I don't know, you all will think that I'm stuck in nostalgia, but let's be real, it was just peak gaming. Subscribe, it genuinely means a lot to me as a small YouTuber trying to become popular, and yeah, see you next time.